I should thank all of you for giving me such a grand welcome in this institute. Honestly, I never thought it would be at such a grand level. I mean, everyone was so much uh, attentive and uh, I mean, it, it was really a heart-touching experience for me. I never felt that way, even when I was uh, getting married. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, very nice. Uh, I won't take much of your time because uh, I understand your classes are going on. And this was all festive season, all faculties of uh, girls and boys. <clears throat> must have gone home or coming back. Anyway, so boys, girls, staff, faculty, principal, vice principal, other staff members of the college, thank you so much. <laughs> See, I, I have been uh, visiting at HIMT College uh, even one at Chennai and uh, this one. This one, I think this is my second trip here. And every time it, you, it was always a grand, grand, grand welcome. And every time I came across the new things that are happening in the institute, it is very good that uh, the HIMT College, the top management and all, they are very, very proactive in coming up with new technologies and everything. So a big round of applause. There are very few colleges. In fact, in India, there are around maybe 150, 170 odd uh, maritime institutes. But there are very, very few colleges which are having high class facilities and uh, you know, they really look after the uh, students very well. And I think HIMP is uh, one of them. That all, all of you at some, uh, such a young age, you are very, very fortunate to be part of this institute and to experience all this ready hand, you know, it will easily, you know, for all kind of uh, formalization and other things, familiarization and to know the technology and all, it is excellent, especially that virtual reality and other DB tanks and the as it is structure that you see on the ship, you are able to see it here. During our times, believe me, if somebody says uh, double bottom tank or somebody says uh, corrugated bulkhead or something, we used to only think and imagine. Uh, I know those who are of my age probably, and maybe older than me, uh, we, we were just trying to imagine how it looks like, uh, what, what is the meaning of corrugation and all those things. So thank you so much for being here and just be patient for a while. Maybe another five ten minutes. I would like to talk about this. So uh, I hope you are all awake now, alert. <laughs> shout, shout. <laughs> At this age, you should only shout. You understand? Once you grow older and all that, you can slowly reduce your volumes. Okay. So gentlemen, uh, I understand that there are few technical cadets and engineering cadets and uh, some engineering people and electrical ETO officers. Uh, who are the ETO officers? Very soon you will be taking up the jobs of the rest of the world. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> what is possible on Earth? Yeah. We are not aware of the other planets, but as of now we understand that life exists on Earth. See, we are talking about the maritime students. Just imagine, don't you think that we need some kind of awareness? You see, this is the first college, let me tell you. In the first attempt only, you could say everyone in unison. You know why? You know why? Because you have been practicing March pass, the right, and all this, oil models, and others. So you know how to work in a team, you observe each other, you, you react to each other's pace, you adjust yourself, isn't it? Yes, so what was the theme for this year? Yes. Very good. 
So, you know what is inner shipping? What do you mean by inner shipping? Lesser pollution. Okay? And new technologies means use of new technologies like solar power, wind power, some other power, maybe some other alternative energy, maybe biofuel, maybe blending of oil. So many things are there. So, this entire year is dedicated for promoting the new technologies for leadership. Okay? So now, here we go. Uh, worldwide, there are a lot of events happening from 12th October to 14th October regarding promoting this new technologies. And this looking was published in six different languages all over the world. So I also wanted to be a part of this because nature comes to everyone, yes or no? Yes. We are all, we should all contribute and ensure that we try to protect this mother nature as much as possible. It is not only for us, but all the future generations. You agree? Yes, sir. So as an initiative, I thought it is better to post some Facebook uh, posters, flexes in the car, and maybe some feature pledges having the logo at the front and at the back. Because as the car travels, more and more people see it, they read about it, they ask questions, they talk about it. So it is just a means of spreading awareness. So the whole idea was to present a lot of uh, major roads, major port areas, non major port areas, fishing areas, uh, close by, local maritime roads. So all those areas, uh, the plan was to present all this. And it started from a place called Mandi in Gujarat. I don't know whether you are aware of that village, but just very close to in Pakistan, there is a place called Jakayu. What place? Jakayu. Jakayu. There are no boat activities there, no fishing on it, but it is privately guarded by the Coast Guard. Just south of that uh, Jakau is a place called Mani. So we uh, started, we went to the beach, we paid and we started the car. The whole idea is to cover the entire Indian coast, go right to Kanyamkali and then go up to Kolkata. And meeting people and spreading awareness about this, that is the only objective. So, till now, uh, I covered uh, 4,600 kilometers.
request your best wishes and blessings so that we can finish our journey.